Hello everybody, it is time to start going over the trimester B honors geometry worksheets, starting with the 6-1 worksheet on polygon angle sums. So we'll start here with number 12. It says, what are the measures of the angles in the right triangles formed by the two regular pentagons shown? Well, we can see that this regular pentagon on the outside is going to have the same vertices as a typical regular pentagon will. So we could find those angles, or we could find this angle right here, which is the exterior angle of that pentagon in the middle. It's easier to find exterior angles, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 360 over 5, and that's going to be 72. Oh, I should turn this the other way. Sorry about that. There we go. So 360 over 5, which is going to be 72 degrees. So that angle right here is 72 degrees. So we know that this is a right triangle, the measures of those angles. So we're going to say one of those triangle angles is 90, 72. And then the third angle that would make those add up to 360 is an 18 degree angle. So all of those small angles are 18 degree angles. Number 13, explain why a regular polygon cannot have an interior angle that is 40 degrees. So in order to do this, we'll use the formula for finding the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon, which is 180 times n minus 2 over n over the number of sides in the shape, which is, in this case, would be 40. So we've got to see why this doesn't work. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by n. So that's going to be 180. And I'm going to also do the distributive property here. 180 n minus 360 equals 40 n subtract uh, 40 n. Well, I guess we'll subtract 180 n from each side. So we get negative 360 equals negative 140 n. Divide both sides by negative 140. And we find that 2.57 equals n. But since n stands for the number of sides, a regular polygon can't have 2.57 sides. It needs to have a whole number of sides. And that's why a regular polygon cannot have an interior angle that is 40 degrees. Because a regular polygon cannot have 2.57 sides. Number 14, Jayash makes the calculation shown to find the measure of each ang interior angle of a regular polygon. What is his error? So he did the 180 times 9, and then he found the sum of the measure of the interior angles as 1,620 divided by 7 equals 231. But it should be the other way around. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles for a nonagon would be 180 times 7 to get that measure. And then the sum of the interior angles would be that number, 180 times 7, which would be um, the number of total measures of the interior angles divided by the total number of angles in there. So he should, should have multiplied by 7 and then divided by 9. Number 19, how many sides does a regular polygon have? If the measure of each interior angle is 160, we'll use the theorem again, the formula, 180 times the side length or number of sides minus 2 divided by the number of sides, in this case equals 160. <laughs> so we'll multiply both sides by n and do the distributive property, giving us 180n minus 360 equals 160n subtract 180n from both sides. That gives us negative 360 equals negative 20n. Divide both sides by negative 20. 
and we get n equals 18, meaning the answer here is 18 sides. Number 20, what is the measure of, the, of each exterior angle of a regular polygon with 72 sides? Here we're looking for exterior angles, so we're going to do 72, uh, sorry, not starting with 72, we're going to do 360, the total amount of those exterior angles, divided by 72 sides, we get 5. So the degree measure of each exterior angle is 5 degrees. Whoa, that's fun. Number 21, how many sides does a regular polygon with an exterior angle measure of 60 degrees have? We can go backwards. We can say, all right, well, that means that 360 divided by our side length equals 60 degrees, right? We multiply both sides by n. We get 360 equals 60n. Divide both sides by 60. And we find out that 6 equals n. So that has 6 sides. Just like that. Number 22, what is the value of x? What is the measure of each exterior angle? All right, well, let's see. I can find the exterior angles of this shape because I know that this angle is 90 degrees. And I can add up all of my exterior angles and say, all right, I know that 90 plus x plus x plus 14 plus 2x minus 24 equals 360 degrees because the sum of the exterior angles is always 360. Simplify that, we get 4x plus 80 equals 360 degrees. Subtract 80 from each side, we get 4x equals 280. Divide both sides by 4, and we find that x equals 70. So that's one of the answers. What is the value of x? x is equal to 70. Then it says, what are the measures of each exterior angle? So I can go in and add in the measurement. So this is 70 degrees. And x plus 14 is 70 plus 14, so that's 84. And then 2x minus 24, that is going to be 2 times 70, which is 140, minus 24, which gives us 116 degrees. And that is all of the exterior angles of that shape. I'll circle the 90 here because that's also an exterior angle. And there we go. Number 23 I really like. Find the value of x and the measure of each, x, or each interior angle. So in order to do this, we say, all right, how many sides does this, does this shape have? This shape has eight sides. It's an octagon. So to find the measure or the sum of the measures of the interior angles, I'll do 180 times 8 minus 2, or 180 times 6. That gives me 1,080. So that's the sum of all the interior angles. Then I see that I have four angles that are 4x minus 80. And I have four angles, which are 2x plus 50. And I can say adding all of those together should give me 1,080. Then I'll just simplify here. So I've got 16x minus 320 plus 8x plus 200 equals 1,080. Combine like terms. So I have 24x. Uh, negative 320 plus 200 is minus 120 equals 1,080. Add 120 to both sides. 24x equals 1,200. Divide both sides by 24. And I find that x equals 50. So there's one of my answers. That's the value of x in this equation. And I'm also looking for the measure of each exterior or each interior angle. So those interior angles that are 4 times x, 4 times 50, minus 80, that's going to be 200, uh, wait, 4 times 50, 200 minus 80, which is 120. So some of those angles are 120. 
And then the other angles are going to be 2x plus 50, so 2 times 50 plus 50. It's going to be 150. So those are the three angle measures there. 50, 120, and 150. Number 25, an airplane is navigating a polygon-shaped course. Each turn is labeled with the measure of the external angle at the striped post. What is the measure of angle one? So in order to do this, if we're looking for all of the angle measures, then we're going to extend this line so that we can have a 70 degree supplemental supplementary angle there which is the exterior angle i know all of the exterior angles add to 360 <clears throat> so i'll say x the angle i don't know plus 90 plus 70 plus 50 plus 70 equals 360 so that gives me x plus 280 equals 360 subtract 280 from both sides and I get x equals 80. So my missing angle measure there is 80 degrees. Number 28, match the number of sides of a regular polygon with the measure of each interior angle. So number one would be like a four-sided shape. We know that a four-sided shape is a quadrilateral. It's going to have 90 degree sides on each exterior angle. Um, or sorry, each interior angle. I keep misspeaking there because that is a quadrilateral. Number two would be a hexagon. We've already seen in our work today that a hexagon has a measure of 120 degrees for each internal angle. So that's A. Then we've got 16 and 18. So if I did 16, I would do 180 times 16 minus 2. So 180 minus times 14 and I would take that and I would divide it by the number of sides in the shape, which would be 16. And I would find that that gives me 157.5. So a 16 sided shape has interior angles of 157.5 or B. And that leaves C to be four. Over here, Ricardo wants to install two security cameras at point A so that the parking lot from side AE to side AB of the building can be monitored. So side AE to side AB would be these sides of the building. Can he use two cameras, both with a field of view of 110 degrees, installed at point A? Explain. If not, what is the minimum field of view that each camera should have? So if he uses two cameras, both with a field of view of 110. What he needs to find out is whether that amount will cover this entire area. His cameras, right? They're pointing outside the building. So two cameras with a view of 110, that's going to be 220 degrees that the cameras would cover. Let's write that. Maybe we'll write that somewhere else so that we don't get it mixed up with our diagram. So the camera would cover 220 degrees. So our goal is to see if the exterior angle right here is 220 degrees or more or less. So we see that we have a um, kind of oddly shaped five-sided building here. We do have some things that we know though. We know that we have um, a 90 degree angle here, a 165 here, and we know that this side and this side are parallel, which makes BC a transversal of two parallel lines. That means that B plus C is 180, since same side interior angles are supplementary. So we know that 90 plus 165 plus 180, which is a combination of angle B plus angle C, plus x needs to equal the total number of degrees in a five-sided shape in a pentagon, which would be 180 times 3, which is 540. So then we can solve this. So we can say, all right, let's see. Let me reach for my calculator here because that is one thing I didn't bring with me. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
the wiggling there. So we've got 90 plus 165 plus 180. It's going to be 435 plus x equals 540. Subtract both sides by 435. X equals 105. So the missing interior angle of this building is 105 degrees. So that means the missing, oops, not 150, 105. So that means that the missing angle on the outside is going to be 360 minus 105, which is going to be 255. So that means that if the cameras he's picking would cover 220 degrees, they're not going to work to cover the entire field of view. So we need to change <clears throat> the angle. We need to say, all right, if he's putting two cameras at point A, then each of them has to cover half of the 255 degree range. So 255 divided by 2 gives us a range of 127.5 degrees. So we can say the cameras must each cover a range of 127.5 degrees. And that's how we will find our answer. And there we go. Number 29, suppose the figure below is a regular polygon. What is the value of n around to the nearest whole number? Well, we can find the measure of an interior angle of this regular polygon, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides, by doing 180 times seven minus two, and that's going to be 900 and then we can do 900 divided by 7, which is going to be 128.57, 129-ish. So these interior angles are 129. And then we can do 180 minus 129. is going to be 51 degrees, just like that. Of course, we could also just do the exterior angles and do 360 divided by seven there, which is another way to do things, which if you realize that right away, good for you. You could have done it like that and gotten 51 the same way. But anyway, that is 6-1 for you. Let me know if you've got any questions at all. And thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.